watch the latest from India Science, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon to get notifications on all the science related videos. Hello, this is Bhagi Shri Gupta and a very warm welcome to today's COVID Bulletin. Indians will now have another effective medicine in the basket to fight against Corona infection. Drugs Controller General of India now given emergency approval for limited use of Virofin, a drug manufactured by Zydus Cadila for the treatment of Corona patients with moderate COVID-19 symptoms. This drug named Pegylated Interferon Alpha-2B has been earlier used for the treatment of hepatitis. This drug was endorsed by the Department of Biotechnology and Research Faculty of Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council for clinical trials. According to a statement issued by Zydus Cadilla, patients can recover quickly if given this medicine at the beginning of the disease. The trial of this drug was done in 20 to 25 centres in India, which showed that after giving this medicine, patient may not require oxygen supplementation separately. Also, the results show that the drug is effective in reducing the viral load in the patient's body. Phase 3 clinical trial of the drug showed that the COVID-19 infected patients who were given this medicine, their RT-PCR report came out negative 7 days later. This antiviral drug will be made available in hospitals and can be taken only by showing a medical prescription. As the coronavirus infection cases spike in India, the demand for oxygen cylinders and concentrators for patients has increased as well. To evade this issue, researchers from IIT Madras have fabricated a DIY kit that can generate oxygen sufficient for a patient in home care. While the mild cases of coronavirus infection are hard to be recovering with just medication, the moderate to severe patients show low oxygen levels and may require oxygen to get well. IIT Madras researchers have shown for this simple process, materials can be procured off the shelves. As per the researchers, they fabricated a crude prototype of a do-it-yourself oxygen kit that can be used to generate oxygen sufficient for a patient in home care. The team has used a 25-litre plastic container, copper wires, a steady supply of DC power, like car battery or a DC welding system, half a dozen stainless steel nuts and bolts that act as electrodes or a stainless steel mesh, a drain cleaner which is nothing but sodium hydroxide for making water electrolysis ready and a football bladder to collect the oxygen and tubes to carry the gas to the patient and a mask. The team advises that the supply of the generated oxygen should be regulated using regulators. Researchers also caution that the hydrogen which is produced as a byproduct and highly inflammable should be properly disposed of by keeping the tube carrying hydrogen outside the window at a height well above the room level. Similarly, Karaikudi-based Central Electrochemical Research Institute, a CSIR laboratory, has designed an electrolyzer system that can produce 250 litres of oxygen and 500 litres of hydrogen per hour. While oxygen can be delivered to critically ill patients, hydrogen can be used for making hydrogen peroxide, which is a disinfectant used in hospitals. The institute estimates that the cost of such an electrolyzer system will be just 3 lakhs rupees. Quick testing of coronavirus infection has become all the more important as the coronavirus cases rise in India. Quick diagnosis will now be made possible through the COVID-RAP technology developed by IIT Kharagpur researchers, which takes only 45 minutes to give a test result. The diagnosis is based on the stepwise isothermal nucleic acid testing technology for the rapid diagnostics of pathogenic infection. The USP of the technology is that it is not only restricted to COVID-19 diagnosis but can test for various other infectious diseases, making it useful for the post-COVID world as well. The kit has been supplemented with a free smartphone app to facilitate unambiguous results interpretation and automated dissemination to the patients. 
The kit has been tested for accuracy and IIT Kharagpur has signed a deal with Bramerton Holdings for commercializing this technology outside India as well. That's all for now in this COVID bulletin. You can share your feedback and suggestions to us on the email ID flashing on your screens. And for more such videos, download India Science app or visit our website www.indiascience.in and don't forget to follow us on social media as well. We will be back with another edition of COVID-19 bulletin soon. Meanwhile, do not panic, follow COVID protocols and get vaccinated. Take care and stay safe. Namaskar. Oh,